Thanks to some late game heroics last night from Landon Ingham and Hunter Brown. Pull ahead, uh, take a 5-4 victory last night. Of course, they were down 4-3 with about four minutes left. They scored two, and then uh, all of a sudden the Canadians were looking at the, the wrong end of a 5-4 game with a minute 33 to go in the third period. So it don't matter how you do it, as long as it gets done for the Caribou Cougars, and that was the case last night. And we are underway in Kin 2. Cousins gets it back out front. Breen and looking for a quick centering pass. That was a good look from Breen and as he tried to get it back to Cowan, which is excellent. So a lot of shots, a lot of saves. Here comes Brown. Brown working and shooting. Scores! The captain who won it in the last minute of play last night gets them on the board first. And that's a much better start for this Cats team. Brown. That's almost the exact same goal that Hunter Brown scored just a night ago, streaking in along the wall and just puts it up and over top of the glove hand side. Face off one by the Canadians, they throw up near side wall. This will be held in by Paul Freeman. Good shot out there. Miller comes in, shooting, save made by Wagner. Control now thrown out front, good tip there to get that away from the stick of Iorio. And here is outside Ingham. Oh, goes off of the stick of last year, up and over. That was a great pass. Johnston. Does some great work to get through a couple of players. That's off of the stick of Wagner. They did the thing. Sanford 84, uh, Power 85, and Ingham 86, all on the same line. Paul Freeman 76, Milner 77. That's my kind of coaching style. Far side, sorry to cut you off. I was very excited. As Koffler comes back in, Koffler firing. Good stick there by I believe that's Tremaine that puck comes in towards the net nothing dangerous shot tipped out front shot scores that's going to be Pedersen and Smith had no uh, no chance on that Dawson Smith didn't really know where he was going it looked like he tried to stretch himself out in both ways as the puck changed directions in front of the net a couple of times every time that these two teams have played in the regular season and then last night all of them separated by one goal the three in the regular season all went to overtime all going in favor of the canadians these two teams are very evenly matched and i would i would honestly be shocked if either team ran away with this game matsuo off of the stick and he lays into lalikas bratton in pass far side finds chabot chabot throws it up front tip off the crossbar no go thing north down in the corner manages to come up with the puck Replay and that because that is an absolute highlight reel goal. That's going to be on TSN later this evening. And I have no idea who it was. But talk about confidence. That's Ruthven with the old lacrosse style goal. And there's absolute again, there's absolutely nothing that Dawson Smith can do on that goal. Cowan, far side, finds Paul Fman. Shot, tip, save made. Cousins out front. Good stick there by number 71, Underhill. Shot there, blocked by Taylor. And he's got some time, no space though. Shoot, save made by Smith. That was off of Ruthven again, I believe. Correction, that was Proctor, far side. They find Brown, Brown in against Mugly Manson and Matsuo. Brown with room, shot! He knocked, nets off that of his off. post. That's just out of the reach of Broughton. Broughton, good feed, finds the leak, a shot there. Glove save made yeah, by Wagner. Up. 2.48 left to go here. Cats got to score quick. Livingston down below, turning, firing off the crossbar. That's two tonight as this comes back out to Livingston. Correction, Milner. Milner waiting, waiting. Far side finds Livingston. Livingston out front, scores! What a tip made by Cowan. Correction, that's Chabot as he does the lap and he will skate right in front of the Canadians bench. They still got two minutes of power play time left, folks. Finds Johnston, Johnston back into Breenan. Breenan takes his time, he'll turn. He's just gonna keep trying to draw defenders to him. Ingham refeeds Breenan, shot, scores! Breenan, his third of the series, and it's 3-2 for this Caribou team. That was the ideal end to this uh, first period for the Caribou Cougars. 3.24 remaining, two goals in under a minute, both on the man advantage. Both on that four minute uh, head contact penalty to Proctor. So that face off won cleanly by the Canadians. Comes all the way back down into their zone. Good work by Breeden out front. Cowan shot blocked. Another one couldn't get through. Cowan throws it out front. Shot scores!
and the coach is gonna wanna have words with referee Anthony Maletta after this one. 1.30 left to go here, second period. Ruthven controls, good move there as they're looking. Oh, he tries the lacrosse again. shot again. Underhill, that's, and they're gonna call that. Interference, I would assume. This will be picked up now by Peterson. Oh. Peterson, yeah, far side yeah, shot, yeah. no goal, no. Anthony Maletta, the referee, calling it a goal. There's no way that that was a goal. As we look at the replay, that is that is crossbar and out. That is a terrible call on Maletta's part. Favorable bounce does Koffler, and that comes all the way back down into the zone, and he's able to get a good shot away. Now there's going to be a call here. It looks like it's going to be for a board. Oh, my goodness, and now we have... Are you... What's turning into a line brawl here? We have a line brawl here in Kin One. And I'm just going to turn it over to the in arena sounds. And the linesmen aren't getting in there. This one is not getting in there. All of this from the initial board. And then I didn't catch who it was who who boarded the player initially. Looks like Johnson as he's heading into the box first, shoved in by the Lionsman. Ball keeps in, far side. They find Peterson. Peterson shot out front, and they score. 4-4 on the power play. 18-18 left to go here, second period, or third period rather. Livingston finds some room and he's got Underhill up front. Correction, that's Ingham. Ingham fires, glove save made by Wagner. 4-4 tie, 15-12 left to go here, third period. Flashy save there from Wagner, showing off the leather, keeping his team in it, tied 4-4. Of course, still very early in the third period. Sanford coming in. Three on two, Sanford makes a good move around, shot out front, couldn't get it away. Good stick there by Ball to keep that from a scoring chance. Brown out front, Brown finds Milner at the point. Milner with room, turns, fires, stick, goal! Scored by Ingham, five to four lead. It's a good tip play in front there from Landon Ingham. Off the cycle from the Caribou Cougars. Yeah, shot in front. Tipped five hole from Ingham right in the front of the net, as you can see right there on your replay screen. Beautiful from the Caribou Cougars forward line. The score is now five to four for the Caribou Cougars. 13, 28 remaining in this one. Picked up now by Smith. Smith will leave it. Ingham gathers. Ingham, far side, finds Brown. Brown in, same wall, shooting. Oh, off the crossbar. No. That looked like it went. All the uh, Caribou Cougar players up here with us saying that was a goal, perhaps a little bit biased, but very similar to the one that uh, the Canadians scored in the second period. It looked like it might have just snuck inside the uh, intersection between the crossbar and the post. I thought it was in, but the way that it bounced out, uh, maybe not. Big hit there along the wall. I didn't see it. It's in that uh, dead corner. Unfortunately, we couldn't see it. You couldn't see it as is still down on the ice. I can't see who it is. Four minutes, 23 seconds left to go here. And we hear that the penalty is for four minutes. No, quiet. it's five. He's gone. He's gone? Okay, I heard four, and then I just heard it aloud. Are you kidding me from Ryan Howes? Nick and Bratton. Nick Bratton. Ruthven, rather, run into by Bratton. A five-minute call here against Bratton. And Ryan House is livid that this is going to be a five-minute call. So this is the probably the worst penalty that the Caribou Cougars have taken all year. Not saying that uh, it's a bad call or undeserved or anything 100%. like that, but the time of where this is, 4.23 left in the third period, and the Canadians will spend all of it, no matter what, on the power play. Big four-and-a-half-minute kill here for the Cats. Face off one by the Canadians. This is Ball. He gives far side. It's going to come back out to Ball. Ball 
Low side, Brown was watching. Glove save made by Smith. 4.13 left, nine seconds off. Pet Peterson gets some room, shot there. Good stick lift by Milner and he clears the zone. Good work down. done Dawson by Milner Smith to get that zone. Kind of in his net there. He didn't really know where it was, trying to get an eye sight on that one. Trying to get some eyesight on that one. We have no call here as there's a massive collision. Smith Smithy. going to the net. He thought it was a penalty. That was the, awesome. The entire was awesome. bench is irate with what just happened here. We got the replay for you right here on your screen, right there. That is egregious. I don't know as who that was. The League, Dawson Smith, as he just left. He knew it was a penalty, he, and he just bolted. That could have been terrible, though. That there was no awful. call. They could have iced that to the empty net. Smith was halfway on the bench. The team was telling Adam, what are you doing? That wasn't called. <laughs> right House looks over at Smith, gives him the two hands up, and says, hey, Get back out there. Right. Canadians control. Out front, shot blocked. Loose in front. And Ingham clears the zone. Minute 44 left to go here, third period. They clear the zone. This is going down. Won't get into the net. 30 seconds left to go here. Ryan House yelling at them to make a line across center. Don't let them through. 25 by seconds. Any means necessary. This is Koffler. Koffler working far side. Watched by Brown and Paul Freeman. Paul Freeman tries to push him off. Can't. Koffler still with the puck. Off of the stick, shot out front. That was a 10 seconds left to go here as that gets thrown the length of the ice. That's going to do it. Cats are going to take One the first round. One last rush here, trying to go for a stretch pass. That's it. It's over. Brown scores. That's going to count. A good goal from Brown. That's going to count. 6 4 as they crowd Dawson Smith. Smith's first out of here. playoff win all of the. Uh, Scratches and injured players booking it down to the locker room to go celebrate with the team as the Caribou Cougars dramatically complete the sweep over the Greater Vancouver Canadians by two scores of five to four here in Kin 2. One last night, one here this afternoon. As the Caribou Cougars celebrating, they are off to the second round of the BC Minor Midget Semi -finals, Playoffs. Semi-finals, apparently. The semi-finals because there are no two conferences.